Hey, what's up guys? My name is David, 360 Photo Booth Operator. Uh, big congrats to everybody who's jumping into the 360 Photo Booth business. If it's your first time here, this channel is the perfect channel for you because here on this channel we talk about all the details, all the great stuff, valuable information that's gonna help you have a successful 360 Photo Booth business. And if you already bought your 360 Photo Booth business and you are waiting for your 360 Photo Booth, I know the feeling, you're excited. So I hope this video helps on moving forward and thinking what stuff should I be upgrading when I start getting events and I start racking up some money, right? So today I'm gonna to be jumping onto what my setup look like, looks like. I'm gonna be going into details for every item of my setup. And in addition to that, if you guys go on the description below, I'm gonna have links to almost everything that I bought. And I almost bought almost everything on Amazon. And also, what I want to uh, tell you guys is that I almost managed to make my setup completely wireless besides the cables that are connected from the iPad to the power bank and the same thing with my phone that goes on the arm. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video guys. I'm going to add timestamps so you guys can fast forward and jump to the part of the video that you're going to think that you think might add the most value to your current situation. Let's start off with these amazing lights right here. By the way, these are the lights I use when I record and make YouTube videos for the community. These are really cool lights. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right over here so you guys can see how tall these lights are, okay? I'm gonna put the microphone right here. I'll be right back. By the way, I'm only five foot three, but look at how high these things go if you're interested in buying them. Um, also, another cool thing is the tripod comes included, okay? This isn't the highest, it goes a little higher, but the higher it goes, the less stable they become, right? Just wanted to give you guys a visual of how high these things can go. All right, let's jump into some of the, uh, the features on these lights. These lights, of course, have an integrated battery, and this integrated battery is solid. It's gonna last you guys over two hours. Now, what I do when I'm at an event is this. Back here, you're gonna see these functionalities. This is to change the color, all right? This, of course, is to uh, manipulate how bright and how dim you want it to be. When I'm at an event, this is exactly the settings I have it at, and I'll tell you guys why. What I'll do is I'll turn it all the way up, all right, which is I think like 12 clicks, and when it's all the way up to the highest brightness, I minus it by three. One, two, three. And the reason I do, do that is because it gives me the perfect amount of light that I need to make sure the production comes out well, the colors off their clothing bounces off well, and just it's well lit to a point where the camera sensor picks up the quality of the video uh, much better than if you had it brighter or not enough light. What else can I point out? And the fact that you are accompanying this light by another one, two, three homies, you got four lights holding you down throughout the night. And this is why you don't have to have it at, it, as it, at its brightness. So that's covering the lights. I'm probably gonna buy an extra light just in case um, one of the little kids hits one and one breaks, okay? Right now we're gonna be walking over to the iPad sharing station. This is right here, this is what you call a sharing station. Now if you guys are barely starting off, remember you don't need a sharing station. You can get a sharing station down the road after you booked a few events and you made some of your money back on your investment. Now I'm using a little cool portable um, stance, like a little mount to hold the iPad. I love this little thing because you can adjust it different ways. This iPad throughout the event I always leave it connected to a power bank. The reason I do that is because I turn up the settings on the iPad so that it won't lock on its own. So it stays like this throughout the entire event. That way when people come up to your iPad and wanna download their uh, video, the iPad is never locked. It's always on and it's always welcoming. So I leave this on. And like I said, if you have it connected to a power bank like this, you will not run out of battery, believe me. The power bank I got on Amazon 
the iPad little mount here. I got on um, Amazon. If you guys buy one of these iPads on eBay, you're probably ask, you're probably thinking, well, what kind of iPad should I get? You guys can get almost any type of iPad, even an iPad mini, just as long as the Wi-Fi connection works. So you guys can connect it to a Wi-Fi or if it has an active SIM chip with data in it through your wireless carrier, whoever that might be, whether it's Verizon, T-Mobile, okay? So that's what you call a sharing station. That's the terminology in the 360 photo booth business. This is, an I, this is a sharing station right here. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the, uh, to the monitor right over there and then uh, break it down and uh, kind of show you guys the tripod and other cool features. So this monitor right here, guys, the size of this monitor is 39 inches. When I first started the 360 photo booth business, I was rolling uh, using my computer monitor, which was about 27 inches, right? No shame in that, but you know, everyone starts somewhere. So now I'm using this 39 inch TV. It's a VZO, I believe made by Sony. Uh, this is uh, the 1080p and it's very light to carry, super light to carry. I can unhinge it and it's off. It's, it's that simple. And then it's sitting on a tripod, right? And this tripod is pretty badass because it comes with that, this table here and then uh, it comes with four wheels. It's super easy, it's very mobile to move it around. It's not heavy either, so the tripod I bought on Amazon. I'm gonna go over the, uh, the features of the Apple 4K. So the 4K here, this is an Apple 4K 32 gig. I have uh, a HDMI uh, cable connected to it and then the cable goes all the way to the screen. So both of these, uh, they're communicating back and forth. Of course, make sure you charge your controller before you guys go to your, um, to your event. It's trippy because I, I completely forgot that this thing eventually is gonna need to be charged. That's something that slipped my mind. Don't make the same mistake I did. Super cool tripod. Now let's go ahead and dive into what's going on here. There's, there's some stuff going on down here that I want to show you. I know I made a video covering the power bank that I use that I fell in love with, but because I, this video goes into, in, into detail, I don't want to leave anything out. So my TV, my TV along with my Apple 4K is connected to this power bank right down here. Let me, let me pull it out. See? So I usually rest this behind this little curtain where client, to the clients it's not visible. And I can move this around the entire room. This is a huge advantage because without this, I'm gonna have to run an extension cord or I'm gonna have to have this close to a power outlet. But with this, I can move this TV anywhere and it'll uh, the battery uh, will keep up with the Apple 4K and the TV itself for you know over four hours so definitely grab this when you guys can uh, highly recommend it's called the anchor 521 and it has a big display here too to kind of show you how much battery life is being consumed and how much battery uh, life you have left so I'm gonna put this right back here all right so I consider this somewhat to be wireless I know we have cables going to it but I, I consider it to be wireless because I don't need a uh, wall outlet for this setup right here so we uh victory is ours when it comes to the tripod and um, the apple 4k we're pretty much almost completely wireless there let's let's dive into uh the u2 the u200 light that i just gave uh, away um by the way congrats again to al al davis uh, they won the light well deserved I think you're waiting on your 360 photo booth. I think the light in your photo booth might arrive at the same time because you're going to be getting this light within 48 hours of this video. All right, so sweet. So I'm going to just talk about the light real quick. I know I made another video talking about the light, but like I said, I wanted to show you guys a few things that stand out to me that you guys might find helpful. Let me move this light right over here. This light, guys, is definitely a luxury. You can get this light down the road when you start building up some more, uh, some more money. Okay, don't be in a rush. Don't feel like your, your setup has to be completely perfect. No, you know, just think of booking. Booking and getting experience, getting content, and using that content to show it off on your social media and Google and Yelp and all that stuff so that people can see like, hey, you know, that looks like fun. Let's go ahead and uh, call them and, and book with them. Now, this has an integrated battery. It's an 8,000 millihertz, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's an 8,000 millihertz. 
this uh, light, when it's turned up to the maximum, you're gonna get two hours and a half. Now you don't need to have it turned up to the maximum when you're at an event. You usually wanna uh, have it like in the middle to low because remember you have your RGB lights to back you up. Now if you don't have RGB lights, then you wanna turn this up a little bit higher, just enough so that the camera on the phone and the sensor can pick up the enough light to make sure that the colors are reflecting nice, right? You don't wanna have this too bright to a point where the people that are on the photo booth have that, that bright spot on their foreheads, you know, and it's just too bright. You always wanna mess with those settings to make sure you're producing quality videos. At the end of the day, guys, as 360 photo booth business operators, we own a production company. That's exactly what it is. So this 360 photo booth is part of a production. And then we provide videos. We provide a production to our clients. So keep that in mind, you know, like it started dawn on me like, oh shit, like I'm a producer. You know, we, sh we should all get hats. I say 360 booth director or producer. I think that'd be dope. All right, so let's move on. Oh, by the way, this light, uh, you can put it in a horizontal way or vertical, flip it up this way. You have an option. It comes with this little cool little clamp right here. And then in addition to that, I don't know if you guys can see my finger right there. You can actually plug a cable USB and connect it to your phone and use this light as a power bank while it's on. Do I recommend it? Heck no, I do not rock, I recommend that at all. What I, what I instead, what I recommend is that you go to every event with your phone at 100%, 100% battery. Oh, and here's a huge pointer. This just, this is what experience uh, does. It, it, it shows you stuff that, so I'll, I'll let you guys in. When, I didn't know this on my first 30, 30, when did I figure this out? I figured this out down the road. What I figured out was that I had my phone, right, connected to the power bank on one specific event. But I noticed that my phone battery was dying slowly, even though it was connected to the power bank. So right away, what I ended up doing is I went on to the brightness of my phone screen and I lowered it almost all the way to the bottom, just enough that I, what I can see the settings for touch picks. And then my phone's battery started climbing again. So I, I, I learned that. So when you guys are doing videos, right? And you have your, you're using your phone to operate, make sure that the brightness on your phone screen is not set up all the way up high, okay? That's a huge takeaway. I know it's something simple, but it's the simple things that can give you a massive result. Okay, so I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I remember to share that with you guys. And I usually have, uh, I'm recording with my iPhone 12 mini. I usually put my 12, 12 mini right here and I have it connected to the power bank using a simple USB uh, lightning cable that goes up the arm, boom, like this, right? All right, so we covered that. We covered the arm, the power bank that I'm using for my phone and the battery. Now, this is my newest, uh, I'm gonna show you guys. So the booth is, is rocking. We can roll it, we can turn it on and it'll start spinning. Where are the controllers at? Well, you guys have to take my word for it. I have, a, I finally found a battery that's compatible that'll have my LED lights working and having my motor working as well. And this, this thing looks just like this right here. It's tucked away. It's tucked away so you guys can't even see it. But I wanna, I wanna I'm bust it out. See? Okay. So this I got on Amazon. The first one that I got, I connected it and for some reason, the the uh, the male adapter wasn't going into my female cable that's connected to my motor, so I returned it. And then I was talking to one of you guys on uh, Instagram, and one of you guys bought the exact same one, and I said, wait a minute, it didn't work for me, so I figured maybe it was defective, so I ordered it a second time, and what I realized is this. The way ish, eh, there was a video I seen on YouTube and the guy hooked it up in a way where everything was matching. So what happened is I'll show you guys actually. Let, let me show you this. I think this is important. Let me see. Let me get some light. Let me get some light. Hold on. Okay. 
this is a little better. So if you guys end up buying this, I'm gonna turn this off first. So if you guys end up buying this battery, which I think is a great gift and a great addition to your 360 photo booth setup, um, I think you guys are gonna be super happy with the results. Uh, I'm freaking super happy with the results. So it's made by a company called Talent Cell, okay? And when you charge it, I mean, it gives you instructions. But how I had it hooked up was like this. I had this going into my uh, 12 volts out with the yellow one right on here. And then I had the splitter going right in here. And then I had this one going into my LED lights and this one going into my motor. However, this one won't fit into the motor. So I said, okay, well, let me swap it out. And it still didn't fit into the motor. And I'm thinking like, what the heck, man? So the guy on YouTube hooked it up like this and it worked for him. It didn't work for me, so I returned it. But then when I got my second one, what I ended up doing was I, I was just troubleshooting. I said, this can't be right. So now what I learned is this. You can have the yellow one connected directly to your motor, just like that, the yellow part. And then this black one right here goes into this white one like this. And then this one of these right here goes connected to your 12 volts out like this. And then, then the other one goes to your LED lights like this. And then you turn this on and you're good to go. Yesterday I did some extensive troubleshooting and I found out that this lasted over four hours with my arm constantly spinning on medium speed. And then I switch it to slow speed. But I can tell you that this thing right here is, I really underestimated it. It's gonna be great uh, for events that are three hours plus, which is not common for 360 photo booths because I always tell clients, hey, if you guys are gonna have less than 100 people, you guys might wanna just consider uh, two hours. If you guys are gonna have less than 50 people, consider booking for one hour. The reason I say that is because most of the booths that we have, for example, the one that I have, you can put four people on here, piece of cake. So there's gonna be four people every single turn and that's only 50 people at an event, you're gonna be for a full hour. So those four people are gonna have multiple videos of themselves, you know, getting shots of uh, 360 photo booth content that they can post on their social media. So you wanna educate your client. I noticed that a lot of people that are calling me, a lot of uh, prospects that are calling me, most of them have never rented a 360 photo booth. So you guys have to kind of paint the picture and dive into the details and they're gonna appreciate you taking the time to inform them and they'll book with you. You know, they're gonna realize like, hey, this guy's super cool. Like, I, I trust this guy. And that's what you want. You want a customer to trust you so that you guys can uh, have a relationship and it's long-term and they can refer you to friends and family. That's what I ended up doing with my iPhone repair business and thank God, like I have, I've had clients for over five years. So that's, that's that I think. I don't think I missed out on much. Um, of course, the stanchions are, are necessary because when you go to uh, events and, and have little kids, you wanna have these stanchions circling your 360 photo booth to kind of deter the kids from getting smacked in the face with the 360 photo booth arm. And you guys seen plenty of videos where people get smacked in the face by the arm. And that's because the operator, and that's you and me, weren't doing the best job at supervising. Uh, you guys, you, man, my, my assistant has witnessed me save lives. And what I mean by that is there's been situations where the little kid runs towards the 360 photo booth and I stop the arm. Like my instinct just kicked in like, like baby Jesus just takes over and, I, and, and I, I save a child, you know? And same thing, sometimes a kid jumps off the, th the booth too early, too soon, and you have, to, you have to be there. So you always keep an eye on your 360 photo booth when your arm is in motion, always. It's your responsibility, you're the operator, you're the producer, you're the director. So make sure you guys tell your assistants the same exact thing. Always keep your eyes on the 360 photo booth when the arm is in motion. You guys gotta, you guys are gonna become lifesavers, you know, so it's, so it's cool. So the stanchions right over here, I got these on offer up guys. So I won't have a link for you for the, for the uh, stanchions because I got mine on offer up. I don't know exactly how much you're going for right now on eBay, but shop around. Stanchions are important. Uh, it, it gives your 360 photo booth a nice appeal, a nice look. 
and the red carpet um the red carpet was sent to our uh was sent to me from our friend overseas cindy so cindy who sold me the 360 photo booth uh said hey david you know i have a, I, we have red carpets now um do you want a sample and i said yeah i want a sample so uh it came through um what i think about it i think it's a little too thin it's a little too thin of a carpet but it's funny because when you are seeing it from afar or through the phone it looks solid right um so yeah that's that's a, that's another thing you guys can pick up uh later on um i'm really trying to think hard as far as what not to leave out on this video this video is already at 21 uh 21 minutes but it's gonna be a cool video because it's gonna be broken down into parts where you guys can go to the part of your preference but as far as my setup that's my setup right now this video is going to spark up some questions and you guys already know what to do either you find it the answer in a video that i made in my library or you guys post a question down in the comment box below and let's continue growing this channel if you are peeping the channel out because you're thinking of uh, you know starting a 360 photo booth, I would recommend not buying in the U.S. because you're going to spend close to three thousand dollars on your 360 photo booth. But instead, uh, maybe try to look to buy overseas and save hundreds of dollars. A lot of people on the channel have bought their 360, 360 photo booth through Cindy, which was the rep who I dealt with overseas. And the reason I started recommending uh, Cindy is because my overall um, experience with her not only was she uh, patient but her communication was there and there's warranty on these uh, on these 360 photo booths and I don't know how they did it but I got my 360 photo booth in less than two weeks and I paid close to I think sixteen hundred dollars that's because I got mine with the with the flight case so I don't know how much prices have changed since then but I, one thing I do know is because I can I continuously buy stuff from Alibaba for other uh, other businesses that I have going on is the shipping price is going up and that's something that they can't really uh, manage right they just have to roll with the punches for now so if you guys are interested in buying a 360 photo booth uh, I'm gonna put a link below as well because you don't want to buy a 360 photo booth on Amazon <laughs> no, heck no um, so we're, we're here to save money. We're here to be a, a successful entrepreneurs in the 360 photo booth business realm. I enjoy making these videos for you guys. I, I do see all the comments that you guys leave. Um, I manage that account, the entire account by myself. I also have TikTok. I have Instagram. I have Facebook. And like I said in the past, I do manage other businesses. And so I, I'm doing a lot. I'm constantly busy. I don't have, uh, uh, someone asked me today, do you have a personal Instagram? I said, I have a personal Instagram, but I don't remember the last time I posted on my personal Instagram because my life has become just business my whole entire life. So it's like, I don't have a personal life anymore. And it's okay because now I feel like I'm actually doing something in this world that is a lot more meaningful and that's beyond just me and, and the self-centered goals that I have. But instead now I feel like I'm inspiring, I'm motivating, and I'm educating people in areas of their life that I can honestly say that it took me many years to come up with methods and strategies to take on certain challenges that we're gonna go through as business owners. And so me being in a position where I can share this with you guys and having the courage and the will to actually do it. I feel like this is part of my uh, destiny. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Peace.